The Magical Wishing Well Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, called Dreamland, lived two best friends named Harim and Arham. They were known for their adventurous spirits and kind hearts. One sunny afternoon, while exploring the outskirts of the village, they stumbled upon a mysterious clearing in the woods. Dot dot in the middle of the clearing stood a beautiful stone well adorned with colorful flowers. It was no ordinary, well, it was said to be a magical wishing well that could make dreams come true. Excited by the idea, Harim and Arham decided to make a wish each. Harim went first, closed her eyes tightly, and wished for a basket full of the juiciest, sweetest fruits in the world. To her astonishment as she opened her eyes, a basket filled with an assortment of mouth-watering fruits appeared right before her. Wow, it really worked, exclaimed Harim with delight. Arham was eager to try his luck. He closed his eyes and wished for the to fly like a bird and see the world from high above. As he opened his eyes, he felt a tingling sensation in his feet. To his surprise, he slowly started to rise from the ground, and soon enough, he was soaring through the skies like a graceful bird. Harim, this is amazing, Arham shouted from above, his heart full of joy. Harim gazed up at him with wonder. You look like a real superhero, Arham. For days, Harim and Arham visited the magical, well, making wishes, big and small. Each wish came true, filling their lives with joy and excitement. But one day as they returned to the well, they noticed that it looked sad. The colorful flowers that adorned it were withering, and the water seemed dimmer than before. Harim and Arham were puzzled. What's happening to the well? Harim asked with concern. A gentle voice echoed from the well. My magic is powered by kindness, love, and selflessness. The more you give, the more I can grant. But if you take without giving back, my magic weakens. Realizing their mistake, Harim and Arham felt guilty. They had been so excited about their wishes that they hadn't thought about what they could do in return for the well's magic. Determined to make amends, Harim and Arham decided to spread kindness and help others in any way they could. They offered to help their neighbors with chores, planted new flowers around the well, and donated their favorite toys to children in need. As they did these kind deeds, they noticed the well's magic growing stronger again. The flowers around it blossomed, and the water sparkled with renewed brilliance. One day, as Harim and Arham visited the well, they found a letter floating in the water. It was a thank you note from the well written in shimmering letters. Dear Harim and Arham, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your selfless acts have made my magic stronger than ever. As a token of my appreciation, I grant you one final wish. Choose wisely. Harim and Arham looked at each other, knowing that this wish had to be special. They thought for a while, and then Harim smiled brightly. Arham, let's wish for something that will benefit everyone in dreamland. Arham nodded. You're right, Harim. Let's wish for a never-ending supply of happiness and laughter for everyone. With their hands joined, they closed their eyes and made their final wish. As they opened their eyes, they felt an overwhelming sense of joy and warmth spreading through the village. From that day on, Dreamland became a place of happiness, kindness, and unity. The magical well continued to grant wishes, but now it was powered by the collective goodness of the entire village. Harim and Arham had learned a valuable lesson about the importance of giving back and making selfless wishes. They knew that true magic came not just from the well but from the love and kindness in their hearts. And so, Harim and Arham's adventures continued in dreamland, and they lived happily ever after, cherishing the power of love, friendship, and the magic of a truly selfless wish. Thank you.